You know that saying, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is? Welp, doesn't apply here. This scene is as good as you think. Sorry, Tommy. You know I wouldn't do this if I had any other choice. But he's my friend. So was I. It's not really summertime without Disney making a boatload of money off a Marvel movie. Taking the number one spot in dominating fashion this week is Captain America Civil War, bringing in over 181 million. That's the fifth largest domestic debut of all time. For those keeping score, that makes three of the top five biggest debuts ever Marvel films. This Captain America box office performance exceeds the other two standalone Cap movies by quite a bit. But considering there are at least 10 different heroes in this flick, this is essentially another Avengers film. Which brings me to the most impressive thing about this movie. With so many characters and so many storylines, Captain America Civil War manages to make everything matter. We've complained on this show, I know I have, complained about the corporate mandated filmmaking where you have to check all the boxes. This one, like, they check all the boxes with a bullet and they make it awesome. Like, okay, yeah, I gotta work five other characters in there? All right, sure, fine. <laughs> where Age of Ultron force-fed some characters and scenes to the audience, Civil War manages to make Spider-Man, Black Panther, and Ant-Man all fit naturally, which is at least one reason why it carries such a high Rotten Tomatoes score. Okay, last thing, and I really can't emphasize this enough, the airport scene alone is worth the price of admission. Okay, fine. Let's move on. Finally falling from number one is another Disney blockbuster. The Jungle Book falls to the number two spot, bringing in an estimated $21.8 million and pushing its worldwide total to more than $776 million. And finally at number three. This is so exciting. Your first sleepover with dad and his new um Person. Undoubtedly gaining some steam from the holiday weekend is Mother's Day, which earned about $9 million, taking the third place spot. This particularly awful ensemble cast movie comes from the same director who brought you these other particularly awful ensemble cast movies. I totally love him. And I'm crazy about her. Xavier wrote his number on my hand. There you have it, young love, full of promise, full of hope, ignorant of reality. This is not a training bra, and this is not Girls Gone Wild! But he also made Pretty Woman, so I guess all is forgiven? As for next week, Jim Cramer's Worst Nightmare. Who's that guy on camera too? You wanna to complain about it? Go ahead. Who is it? Anybody know? Was it a union thing? For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrus. Thank you.